Hey, it's El Angel here, and you guys asked for it. Today we're gonna be learning about how to up your phone photography. So let's get to it. So me and my buddy Juan, we went out to go take some photos. We just went and climbed up a mountain and went around the city. So when I'm out and about taking photos and my DSLR dies, I'm just wanting to take photos on my phone. Then simply I just pull out this cool app called ProCam. I think I paid for it. I'm not sure, but if you had to pay for it, then you know, pay for it if you guys can. But if you guys can't, then I'll show you guys another way on how you guys can be able to take photos just on your in-phone app. And the link to the app is in the description below, but really quickly, when I open up the app and when I, whatever I'm taking a picture of, whether it's a tree, a person, I'm making sure that the exposure is correct. So a lot of times on the in-app phone, you know, on your camera and you're taking a picture and sometimes it comes out too dark or too bright and you know, there's a way to change the exposure, but you can't really change so much like if you were using the DSLR and this app gives you the capability ability to change your f-stop shutter speed and ISO all in this same app and it's really easy versatile it's really simple all you're really doing is just slide in a dial um, get the desired ISO or f-stop that you want and so I go out and I'm taking the pictures of my friend or a person and whatever I'm taking a picture of I'm making sure that the person is perfectly exposed or picture looks exposed enough so that it's not gonna come out bad and if you guys don't have no money to spend and all you got is just your in-app phone you guys can take pictures amazingly on that so let's say you have your photo, you have a correct exposure, you just, you took an awesome picture. Let's say you didn't even bother to expose or anything at all. You just took a great picture and you wanted to make it look better. Well, this is like my best friend, this app, it's called Polar. Um, this video is not sponsored. I just love the app, it's really great. A lot of people use Visco or Adobe Lightroom but Polar, it's completely free. I bought, I got the full version and it's just a few more things, but you guys can literally just download this app really quickly. Basically it gives you the same exact adjustments, the same exact settings as a, Adobe Lightroom would or Adobe Photoshop. So it's really easy to use. If you know Photoshop, if you know Lightroom already and you guys don't have your computer on you or if you don't have your, whatever you have to edit, at home or on a laptop, you don't have it with you, it died, you know, you lost it, you put it in a tree and you forgot it. Well, Polar is really awesome. Literally, you are just adjusting the dials, um, easy stuff to be able to edit your photos. So let's go more in depth into the editing process of how you guys are gonna actually bring your photo in and bring it out and make it look 10 times better. So once you guys have the app downloaded, what you guys wanna do is just open it up, bring that awesome banger shot that you took of that mountain. Me personally, I took a picture of my friend Juan. It's awesome, we found this cool neon light and we were like, hey, let's take a picture. And this is probably my favorite one right here. This is how it looked like when I first took the photo. And so I'm just gonna tweak a few things and Honestly, it's really easy once you guys begin to learn this app. It's going to become like second nature. Really quickly, the first thing that I do when I get into the app is I'm adjusting my exposure. So right now, it's a little dark, so I do want to bring it just up just like a little bit. Remember, this is just like tiny, tiny little movements. You're not making such a drastic movement because you're going to, people are going to tell that you edited the photo. People want to know that, hey, you put time into it, but you didn't just slap a cake onto your photo. So I'm adjusting the contrast right now. Um, adjust a little bit of the, the shadows just bring it up just a touch and so this is before and after and just simple stuff like that that is just making changes another thing that I like to change a lot is um, the colors so for example this color you know it's, I feel like it's very blue and I want to bring the blue just a little bit down so it's not so you know vibrant bring down the saturation on the blue and for me I think I showed a lot of my pictures I like to make my blues a little bit more aqua so I'll bring it into an, like an aquaish feel. If you guys like that, that's cool. If you don't, you know, it's still cool. But once you guys got that, so I want to keep his shirt pinkish because honestly, in real life, his his shirt was actually yellow. Just saying. But I'm adjusting the color a little bit right here. I'll um, and I'm not gonna take so much time editing, but basically I'll just adjust like the lens distortion so it looks just a little bit like abstract, really wide open before and after not such not a big drastic change but if you guys want to go for something crazy awesome and you just gonna want to change the colors completely you can make his shirt even more pink you can um, adjust even the yellows in the background over there you just want to you don't like that yellow you can literally just click on that yellow saturation take it out you know there's a, tons of capability if you know Adobe Lightroom or if you don't I promise you if you download this app you guys are gonna love it because 
honestly once you guys begin to learn it you're gonna be you're gonna be loving um, changing colors you know adding different stuff that you know maybe visco would would give you or not you know who knows another thing that I really want to change is just the clarity a little bit you want to add a little bit of clarity not so much because then it looks very weird but just a little bit of sharpening clarity and then denoising the color just you don't know there's like these weird dots that you find sometimes but you can just remove those by the denoiser and that's actually bought so if you guys want to actually you know if you guys want to buy the app you guys can have that feature and so that's basically it guys you know that's just really awesome um, just a quick edit you know I, I definitely spend a little bit more time on you know editing this photo but just to show you guys that you know this app is awesome I don't not a lot of people have heard about it I've told a few of my friends about it and they actually use it in their own photography and it's really cool that you know you can just if you, you don't have your computer with you you can literally just pull up your phone open up polar download the images and the cool thing about my camera is that it's Bluetooth Wi-Fi capability so I can just download the images straight from my camera onto my phone and I can just start editing right away so that's basically it really easy really versatile on editing your photos just really quickly on the go honestly I've used it plenty of times I've even used it you know going to shoot some images and I don't I have my computer right there and I need to have the photos right then and there so I would go ahead and just open up the app edit them send them and you know problem solved so honestly I would definitely tell you guys take advantage of this app because it's gonna help you out on the long run it's gonna help you out when you you don't have your editing software with you so I encourage you guys to download this app and really just go out there and have fun the whole process photography if you guys are passionate about it I know a lot of you guys that um, I asked on the Instagram if you guys wanted to learn about this I know a lot of you guys I talked to you guys personally and you guys say that you guys want to learn a lot about uh, photography and all that download this app learn it spend a day on it just edit turn the dials do whatever you can but just try it out and once you guys have it it's gonna be amazing so I'll also be leaving the link to the app in the description so if you guys want to go ahead and download the app just click on the description it's not sponsored I just love this app literally you guys gotta download it so get to downloading so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this video make sure to go ahead and like subscribe leave a comment any questions you guys have I'll be glad to ask so you guys can go ahead and follow me on Instagram my Instagram handle is it's L angel right here and I also have a Twitter, it's El Angel as well. So you guys can go and follow those, check out the photos. I'll even be posting the images of the photos that I edited on my phone. And I took the pictures on my phone and I put them into Polar and I edited them on Polar and then I exported them. You guys can see that whole thing, all the pictures completely done on my Instagram stories. So go ahead and go check that out, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. There's definitely going to be more videos. You guys just got to tell me what to, you know, make or any questions you guys have, and I'll be gladly to make more videos about you know just simple stuff phone photography or how to even do videos if you guys have want to know how to do videos I do I specialize in videography as well so if you guys want to learn how to do video work I'd be glad to help you guys so again thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye